to simplify matters and to facilitate a high level understanding of animation production in Ecuador, Andamios Global has broken down the whole process into three phases. The first, laboratory phase, then the second, rearing and pools until harvest, and the third, factory production and packaging. The first of these phases will be discussed in this article. In a typical Ecuadorian Vaname shrimp production, spawners, eggs, and broodstocks, mature shrimps used to, for breeding purposes, are captured in the wild. Conditioning the broodstock entails 4 to 7 days of acclimatization, a period in which they are kept in holding tanks. To induce molting, the shedding of old exoskeleton that is replaced with a newer one, the salinity of the water is manipulated. To induce maturation, eye stock ablation is conducted. This refers to the removal of eyes from the front area of the shrimp's head, either by pinching, cauterization, or ligation. This stimulates ovarian development in female vaname shrimps, resulting in a more efficient egg production. Ablated shrimp are then transferred to maturation tanks, where a density of 5 to 6 animals per square meter and a 1 to 1 female-male ratio is maintained. Gravid females or females carrying eggs identified with stages 3 or 4 ovaries are collected and moved to spawning tanks. Spawning usually occurs at dawn. Once the animals have spawned, they will be removed from the tank and eggs collected. They are normally treated against any infections and subsequently moved to the incubation hatching tank for further incubation until they hatch. The eggs have now moved to the Naupli stage or the first stage of the Vaname larva and are transferred to larval rearing tanks. Rearing the Naupli in the larval rearing tank can take up to 25 days. It is important to note that the size and capacity of the larval rearing tanks will depend on the egg hatching rate. Smaller rates will most likely need 2.5 ton tanks while larger volumes may require 40 ton tanks. The smaller indoor tanks are suggested for Naupli numbering below 0.5 million at a density of 100 to 150 larvae per liter of water. During this stage, with the larvae still in the rearing tanks, drastic changes in the environmental conditions are avoided. As for feeding, shrimp larvae usually feed on phytoplankton and smaller crustaceans. It is not unusual to find the bigger Ecuadorian Vaname shrimp farms engaging in large-scale production of phytoplankton and, in some cases, as part of their larval feeding strategies. Water quality must also be maintained at all times, taking into account factors such as salinity, dissolved oxygen, and pH and nitrogen levels.